everyone. Sorry to start the vlog with this no makeup face, um, but I have been taking it very easy <laughs> the last couple of days. It's actually Wednesday. I said at the end of last week's vlog that I had got loads done at the weekend and I really did. I powered through um, a lot of the things that I wanted to get done before the baby's born. I'm about halfway through the big like declutter and organise of our bedroom but I can't do any more now until the nursery's done so I need to crack on with that um, and I'm going to carry on approaching each like room. Um, basically just work through my list room by room and like try and declutter and organise everywhere. I did a lot at the weekend but as a result I like completely overdid it and um, I've been having a lot of back pain. I don't have a big bump yet so I keep like bending down to do stuff and ending up like hurting myself so I've just been taking it really easy um, the last couple of days and today was the first day where I felt like I wanted to film. I figured seeing as it's Wednesday I should probably crack on with filming. Um, it's new phone day. Um, I'm filming this after I filmed a clip earlier on so I do already have my new phone and that has been a bit of a faff which I'll tell you about in a minute. Now I'm just trying to decide what to do with the rest of my day. It is new phone day. My new phone's just arrived. Um, I got the iPhone 12 um, in this gorgeous mint green colour. Um, but yeah, new phone. I'm going to set it up. I hate setting up a new phone, which is why I normally do it in store. Because obviously you just leave your old phone with them and they transfer everything over and it's all done. But this time I have to do it on my own. So yeah, I was so excited to get this phone. Here it is. <laughs> got it next to me. I was so excited to get this phone. And then it arrived and... Um, it doesn't have a power adapter and that would be fine if it had like a normal USB cable but it doesn't um, it's got a different kind of cable and my work laptop doesn't have the capability to connect to or charge this particular cable um, my personal laptop does but you might remember from last week that my laptop's completely broken like completely dead non-responsive um, yeah completely broken um and needs to be fixed but it's not an expense that i can justify right now um so i got a bit upset about it because they also said they were sending me a screen protector and a case and i got something completely different and no case um so i was a bit upset because pregnancy hormones so i had like a 30 second like cry about it i won't lie and then i just went on amazon <laughs> and ordered some usb adapters and a case and a screen protector and I've emailed my phone network to try and find out like why I was sold something that I didn't get um, and whether I can return the random like screen thing they did send me um, but yeah that was it was a bit stressful I won't lie because I just wanted it to be straightforward and it wasn't <laughs> Hi everyone, I just wanted to jump on and add a voiceover here. So the next day, all of my stuff from Amazon arrived and I was able to finish setting up my phone properly and start using it. Once I had everything I needed, I was really happy with the phone and it's all good. Um, and then that night we did end up in hospital, unfortunately. Um, it was an unexpected stay, I won't go into it, but everything was absolutely fine, um, thankfully. And then we jumped back into the vlog on the Saturday, which was our first wedding anniversary. And we went into town. Hello, we are home from town and we picked up a few bits. Um, we're gonna, oh, there's a mark under there. I need to clean the counter. Um, we got some painting stuff because we're gonna try and start painting the nursery today. Um, I was at the point where I was thinking of paying someone to do it, but we'll give it a go ourselves, see how we get on. Um, we picked up some books for our niece. It's her birthday um, next week and she's obsessed with space, like completely obsessed. So we got Beyond the Sky, You and the Universe, and a hundred things to know about space. Hopefully that'll tide her over a bit because she wants space quizzes every time we see her. Um, Will's picked up some games from a charity shop. And in the same charity shop, I found so many classic baby books. I've bought um, little shelves to go in her room. Obviously I'll give all these a wipe down, but they all seem to be in pretty good condition apart from like bent corners and stuff. But at the end of the day, books are going to get bent and ruined anyway. So um, I think they were between 150 and 175 each. Um, but I got Guess How Much I Love You, Peace at Last, which was one of my absolute favourites when I was little. And I want to get 
um, the other one as well by Jill Murphy that I had. What, what was it called? It was um, when the little baby bear, there it is, goes off into space. There it is. Whatever next. That was it. Apparently I made my mum read that book to me like a hundred times a day. Um, Elmer on stilts. We're going on a bear hunt. And the Gruffalo. I was so chuffed. These are all on the shelf together. So I feel like maybe somebody donated them all together. But yeah, like you can see there's a little dent in some of them and the corners are a bit bent. But I'm quite happy to pay £1.50 and get ones that aren't in like perfect condition rather than pay full price. And then I got more baby grows <laughs> because I can't control myself. So these little sets are from TK Maxx and they were all 5 99 each. And the reason I got them is because they are zips. So I'm trying to make sure that um, the majority of things that I buy now have got zips because everyone just tells me it's so much easier. Um, and they all come with like a matching headband. This one I probably won't use and I'll probably just put them on for a photo um, and then take them off. But it was the sleep suits I wanted. So this one is like muted pastel-y colours with rainbows and that's zero to three. Then we've got pink and cream stripe in three to six. And then this gorgeous cream with like uh, mustard and pink florals on also in three to six. So I'm stocking up on a few bigger bits to put away as well and also because it is our wedding anniversary Will's bought me these gorgeous lilies um to put in the garden so it's a they're not a bunch of flowers it's um a pot so I'm hoping to be able to repot them in the garden and actually have them survive there's loads here still to come out um, but my mum planted lilies in her garden years and years and years ago I'm talking like 12 to 15 years ago and they come back every year. So I'm really hoping that these will be the same, although both of us are terrible with plants, so probably not, but we can give it our best shot. Also, we have ordered um, the carpet for our stairs and landing, and they're gonna call on Monday to like officially give us a date for that to be done. So that'll be amazing, because apart from the lighting um, in the downstairs rooms and our bedroom, and actually, no, the landing as well, <laughs> um, that's like the last, big house thing to be done so once that's done it ticks off a huge job and um the whole of the upstairs will look so much better because that carpet really is awful um and what i thought like we did something else um, we've got mcdonald's for breakfast because we're so fancy on our wedding anniversary <laughs> other than that um i think we're all caught up but yeah we're gonna start trying to do the nursery this afternoon so wish us luck <laughs> everyone it is Tuesday the 10th today and it's actually 5 to 11. I woke up this morning feeling really motivated thinking like yes I'm gonna get loads done and I sat down for a while and my motivation has just completely disappeared. Um, I've had a couple of days of just feeling a bit like meh, a bit fed up. Um, I just hate being at home at the moment because 
I can't, I feel like I can't do anything. It's really frustrating. Um, but anyway, more on that in a second. Um, so Saturday we did the nursery, we finished painting it. And then I put in a little clip of like a few bits that we've put in there. Um, nothing else has been done yet. Um, I hoped that we might be able to build some of the furniture the next day, but it was Will's birthday on the Sunday. Um, so obviously he didn't want to spend his birthday building furniture and we ended up having a busy day anyway. So that day sort of disappeared. Um, and then yesterday I was just so fed up. I didn't get dressed or anything. I just lounged around feeling miserable all day. <laughs> Sorry about that, my mum called and I ended up on the phone to her for ages. Um, and I think I'm gonna pop over to hers in a little bit because she's done loads of new stuff around her house and she wants to show me. And I'm having like an early little baby shower type thing, but not really, basically just tea and cake with a few family and friends um, the first weekend of September which is really early you wouldn't normally have it till about six weeks before the baby's due but um with covid and me being immune compromised um and wanting to sort of really limit contact with people in my third trimester uh, we thought that would be the best way to do it to do it early so i think she wants to go and like see if we can find some bits and bobs for that because obviously that's like less than a month away now already um, and I only invited people yesterday. I can't remember what I was saying. Um, I think I was just saying that I was like really fed up yesterday and there's like, no thank you for barking. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff I want to do around the house. I'm so used to being able to just try and get on with it myself. And obviously I can't at the moment. I feel like I don't have the energy for anything. Literally just in this last week or so, I started feeling really uncomfortable and just yeah just not not feeling 100% yeah so anyway long of the long and the short of it Saturday was our anniversary we painted the nursery uh Sunday was Will's birthday and we had a nice day for that then yesterday I just felt really pants and today I feel a bit rubbish as well I've got a to-do list of things to do like the kitchen really needs a good deep clean dishwasher needs emptying um the whole of the house needs hoovering <laughs> um like there's so many things that I could be getting on with but I just don't want to I feel really like flat and rubbish so I might go and talk baby shower stuff with my mum and see if that makes me feel any better <laughs> Hello, it is now uh, the evening, I'm actually getting ready to go to bed, but um, I spent the afternoon at my mum's house. I had this long list of things that I wanted to get done today and I just didn't feel motivated to do them. At least the kitchen and everything has had a clean, but I wanted to show you some baby stuff. Um, please excuse the state of the bedroom behind me. Obviously, as you know, we are in the process of like decluttering and organising every room. There's a lot of stuff in here that is going to be moving into the nursery and there's just a lot of stuff in general that is a bit of a mess. You can see the baby's cot <laughs> here behind me, um, bag of clothes for the charity shop. There's lots of stuff you can't see behind me. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you a few bits. I know the lighting's rubbish, but I didn't want to leave it till tomorrow because I might forget. Um, my changing bag arrived, which I'm super chuffed with. It looks absolutely <laughs> ginormous. It's by a company... And I think they're called Giggle. I think you pronounce it Giggle. It's G-I-G-I-L. So I think it's Giggle. Um, but yeah, it took me ages to decide on a changing bag. 
Um, but because I've been feeling a little bit flat this week, I decided to just treat myself. I had seen this company come up a few times and I knew that I wanted one that was like a backpack style um, because I have issues with my shoulders and things and I didn't want one that you would mainly carry like over one arm. I thought as well, um, if I went for like a bigger backpack style one that might suit me um, for future kids as well. So if we end up one day with a toddler and a baby, I'll hopefully be able to fit everything that we need in here and so I went for this because I thought it would be a really good um sturdy smart looking neutral backpack um I really like it from what I've seen so far the reviews were good it's got so many compartments like it's got this big compartment at the back and um, you could pop a changing pad in there it comes with like a travel changing mat it's got big like water bottle style holders on the side it comes with um clips to attach it to the pram so it's got these um d-rings on the back and then it comes with clips to attach it around the pram handle as well which is really handy um you can have this flap over the front or if you prefer you can just leave it at the back and just have clear access to the rucksack but what really sold me on all of these different types of rucksacks was when you open them it opens out into like a rectangle so it's got like metal um it's got like a metal mouth inside like a frame and it opens um into a rectangle so you can open it really wide and see everything that you've got in here and again on the inside there are so many pockets um it's also got one of those little clips so you can like clip your keys to it or a hand sanitizer or something or a dummy in like a sanitized case so that um you don't lose it it's got bottle holders on the inside it comes with this changing mat like i say um it's got like phone pockets and everything so i can use it as like just my handbag as well and keep everything in here um, I'm really chuffed with it. I'd also seen people say that you need to have two hands to close it. So I've been trying it out um, and I think that you probably will need two hands to close it, which is the only thing that is slightly annoying, I suppose, because obviously if you're holding the baby and everything, that might be a bit difficult. But um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm glad I bought it. It was a bit of an on the whim, on a whim purchase, but um, like I said, it had good reviews and I also got an extra, it was on sale anyway. I think it was like reduced by £15 in the sale. And then if you signed up to their newsletter, which obviously you can unsubscribe from straight away, um, you got an extra 10% off. So I think it ended up being about £52, um, which is a lot of money to spend on a bag. It's not real leather either. It's faux, like vegan leather. Um, but I'm not like always a huge fan of real leather anyway um it is a lot to spend on a bag but I figure it's potentially a bag that I'm going to use for several years so um yeah oh I've just realized you can also if you don't like that flap at the top you can also detach it there you go so if you really hate it you can take it off but I don't mind it so I'll probably leave it on but yeah, this is why I really want to get the nursery done because I just have like a steadily growing collection <laughs> of baby stuff everywhere. And then there's a bunch of stuff downstairs um, and then there's stuff in her room already as well. So I just need to get it sorted and have a place for everything. Hello, good morning. I got an Emma Bridge water parcel, so I thought I would open it with you. Um, I need scissors. <laughs> I don't know where the scissors have gone, so we've got a knife instead. Um, it was funny, I just answered the door to the DPD guy and he was like, I'm going to start putting my van on autopilot to come here because <laughs> we've had so many parcels recently. But in my defence, they've all been for the baby. Um, but this one is <laughs> obviously Anyone who's been here for a while knows that I love Emma Bridgewater, um, but, oh, but um, they were discontinuing a bunch of their patterns and some of them were ones that have been on my wish list for a really long time and I hadn't picked anything up in them. Um, so I grabbed, oh 
my goodness, these have been packed very well. That makes a change. I grabbed these. Um, I'm always very nervous ordering personalised from Emma Bridgewater these days because the personalisation can be very hit or miss, hit and miss. Um, so I'm always nervous unpackaging, but we'll see. Oh, this one's okay. This one's okay. Just have to double check that it's not got any like massive flaws or chips in it or whatever. Okay, so it says sea air on it, um, but it's sea air and it's the sailboats. And then this one, I had to order because um, when I got Archie and then when I got Winnie, I got a little baby mug with their name on it. And Archie's, um, Archie's actually got two, I think, because one of them I found really cheap in the factory. Um, but Archie's and Winnie are up with our little personalised baby mugs on my shelf there. And there's one more hook, so I wanted one for Margot. Oh, it's cute. And it's the little pink dinosaurs. That is adorable. So happy with them. Excuse the funny angle, it's very sunny. Um, but I'm just sitting outside the doctor's about to go into my midwife appointment. Um, I don't know what it's like in other areas, but where I live, if it's your first baby, you get a midwife appointment, um, like an extra one between 24 and 25 weeks. So I'm 24 weeks today. So I've got my appointment and I'm about to head in. morning everyone happy saturday i'm in the hospital car park with my costa strawberry lemonade which i really love these <laughs> delicious um i had a hospital appointment this morning oops to check up on my eye i have a condition called uveitis which is an autoimmune condition like my crohn's um that flares up every now and then sorry i'm just trying to find somewhere to put my lemonade but it's not going well for me this car doesn't have cup holders um where am i gonna put it oh no i did not think this through um yeah it flares up like my crohn's disease if you've been around for a while then you might know about my uveitis <laughs> i've had it quite a few times it causes me some issues so it's been causing some issues the last couple of months really but specifically weeks so i had a follow-up appointment today at the hospital and they reckon it's all gone but my eye is still causing me some some stress so um i'm going to carry on with the treatment for another couple of weeks and see if that clears it all properly um but yeah now i'm going to go to sainsbury's and pick up a few things um i think it's been a few days since i spoke to you i've basically just been chilling and trying to get a few things done around the house i had a midwife appointment on wednesday and they said my iron has slightly dipped so i'm going to go to um sainsbury's now to their pharmacy section try and get this prescription or at least order it that the hospital have given me and then see if i can get some iron supplements because i'm not anemic i don't need like full-on prescribed iron but i could do with like some sort of supplement so i'm gonna see if i can get some like spartone or something which you mix into a drink my mum has had that after her operations and stuff and it seems to be really helpful so I'm going to see if I can put this drink somewhere. Then I'm going to go. And Will has been building the nursery furniture while I've been gone. So I can show you that when we get home. Okay, it's actually hours later now. It's half one. And um, the nursery furniture is up. So um, obviously these handles don't match. Will forgot that I had uh, bought different handles um, until the last draw. So um, they're all going to be changed to these wooden ones and I might have a go at doing that now. Um, if he's screwed them on too tightly, then I'll just wait for him to get home. Um, but yeah, that is the um, chest of drawers, which we're using as a changing table as well. And then we figured that if we went with a piece of furniture like this, um, it can stay with her until she's much older and we can just use it as her chest of drawers. And then the cot is going to go um, along this wall here I think it's partially going to be tucked down that end but that's fine um yeah I'm gonna see if I can change these handles so I managed to do all of them except that one drawer 
he's put them on so tight on that drawer that I cannot get them off at all. I've like really hurt my hand <laughs> trying to do it. So I'm gonna have to give up and leave those ones for him to do when he gets home, I think. But I've managed to do the rest. Um, and I've got these drawer organizers um, to try and organize her things in the drawers. And I just, I don't know what to put in what drawer because I've never had a baby before. So I have no idea like what should go where, you know? Um, but we'll figure it out. My mum made these um, baskets for the nursery and I wanted to put them on the changing table. This one's got like toweling birth clock her cloths in that she's also made and then um this one is going to have muslins in I think that I can just like grab in the morning um and I'm also going to have some more in my little like rascog cart downstairs so at the moment I don't have any um I don't have many muslins at all that's something that I definitely want to get more of and this one I think um I might use in the hospital because it's a really lovely big one it's like a swaddle type one and I've got uh, some of these bows as well, which are from um, a small business. I think it's called Betty Brown's Boutique or something like that. I'll try and remember to write it on the screen. Um, I got a couple of them because they were really affordable um, just for Instagram pictures, basically. She's not going to wear them all the time. But I thought for like announcing that she was born, this little combo might be super cute. Um, so yeah, I've put those things out. <laughs> Obviously, like I say, I'm a first time mum, so I have no idea what's gonna be useful. It's all gonna be like trial and error. I've tried to watch a bunch of videos, um, but obviously everyone has different preferences. So yeah, um, but all of her clothes have been stored in the laundry basket. So now the plan is to go through them and um, organize them into age categories and try and get them into the drawers okay this is how the top drawer is looking at the moment now I already know that it's going to change um so let's just start from the beginning so obviously I'm having a c-section um which means I'm not really going to be able to get in and out of drawers other than these top ones so I wanted all of her newborn and up to one month stuff to be um in these drawers I figured that then by the time she's um, over a month old or by the time she's grown out of those clothes anyway, within maybe like two, three weeks, um, I'll be feeling well enough to then be able to distribute things in other drawers. So for now, I've put all of her newborn and like zero to one month sleep suits, vests and clothes um in these top drawers and any changing stuff I'm just going to keep on here so I've got a nappy caddy already um that I got from my mum so I'm going to have that downstairs and then I think I might get one for upstairs as well um that I can keep here or I'll have another basket here with nappies and changing items in with a changing mat here so that in the morning I can bring her in here change her nappy get her dressed in whatever she's wearing for the day and not have to bend down that's the that's the plan anyway um so yeah this probably will change and I need some more small drawer organizers as well because I want to have her vests all rolled up like this and um, these are like newborn and up to one month um body suits short sleeved and long sleeved so um I'm gonna get two small drawer organizers one for the vests one for socks and then probably another one over here for hats um, and I'm going to move the rompers probably into that knitwear. Um, speaking of which, my mum made these. I can't remember if I've shown you or not. She's made a couple and she's still like making more. Um, this is a gorgeous like sagey green one with booties and it has a hat too. There it is. So cute. And then this one is like a blue colour. Like somebody told me off on Instagram uh, for having too much pink for the baby. And I do like pink, but a lot of the newborn stuff is pretty neutral, actually. There's a few um, pink items thrown in there, but actually these that are pink and florally are all one month. All of her newborn stuff is pretty neutral. That's obviously got pink on it, but... Not that it really matters, but yeah, so as you can see, I do have other colours for her as well. 
that romper has those little booties and then two different hat options and some mittens as well <laughs> my mum loves making stuff for the baby as you can see she made those as well there's a bunch of other stuff too that she's made um but yeah so those are in with her like outfits they will probably be for like an instagram picture or like christmas or something they're not going to be things that she wears like just on a day-to-day -day basis um and as you can see i haven't really got any outfits for her at all i just prefer babies in sleep suits so i've got a couple of pairs of leggings um one two three four five six six pairs of leggings this is like um, the outfit that my parents brought me home from the hospital in. It's like a little velour dungaree set. There's a romper there with a cardigan, a little jumper, a t-shirt. And that's literally all she's got for outfits so far because I just prefer babies in sleep suits. And I don't intend to buy any outfits for her now. Um, I might get some from friends and family when she's born, I guess. But yeah, I'm just going to keep her in sleep suits. So yeah, I think I'm going to move the rompers to like the knitwear thing and then maybe put these in with the socks when I've got drawer, drawer organisers for those. Um, and then I've got these two little cardigans as well, which I'm putting with the newborn stuff because they are teeny tiny. And both of these were knitted by my nanny, so the baby's great nanny. This is absolutely gorgeous, this little one. I think I might take this white one to the hospital with me. Um, and then there's this pink one as well, which would look so cute with just like a plain... Um, white baby grow um I love babies in just plain white baby grows so cute um I have been thinking about what items I want to take in my hospital bag with me um and so I've left those ones separate um on the edge so those are the five I think I'll take to the hospital with this little white cardi and then my mum's also knitting the baby like a pastel rainbow cardi with her name on the back so I think I'm going to take that as well um, but yeah, it's so fun, like looking through and thinking about what I want to take to hospital with me. Um, so yeah, I've left those ones like separate on the edge there. So they're easy to get to when I pack my hospital bag. Um, but yeah, so apart from getting some like smaller drawer organisers, I think all of her newborn and like up to one month stuff is going to fit in here. Okay. Unless people suddenly buy me a bunch more stuff, <laughs> in which case I might struggle. So now I've got my bearings a bit and I've sorted out the newborn stuff, I think I will film um, sorting out all of her zero to three stuff. Um, so you can see how I'm folding it and things and just for a cute little montage because I'm loving this baby stuff. Okay, so I've been, I've got a spreadsheet where I've been keeping track of everything that I have. Turns out I've seriously missed zero to uh, zero to three. I think I had it in my head like, oh, I've got 10 sleep suits, that will be enough. But I think seeing it like this has made me realise that I'm going to be washing all the time when she starts wearing these bigger clothes. So I think if people ask me what clothes to get, I'm going to say zero to three. I've only got two vests in zero to three and they're both like frilly ones that aren't really suitable for underneath sleep suits anyway so I need to add that to my list to buy um, and then in here I will put zero to three clothes and for that I have literally nothing two little outfits and a cardigan I just found two more zero to three vests so we'll pop those in there okay so I've got four zero to three vests <laughs> I'm gonna need some just plain ones and some short sleeved ones I think um but yeah for zero to three outfits that's all I've got so that's what I need to focus on I think okay everyone it's the next day Archie's gonna show you baby sissy's nursery um we ended up having a super productive day in here um I really wanted to show you all of the furniture going up because the cot 
is now in here as well um this is a really tiny room so fitting everything in um is a bit of a pain um this is the only way we could get the furniture in safely whilst also be able uh, being able to put things up on one of the walls because i'm not comfortable putting anything above the crib and i'm also not comfortable having her in front of the radiator or the window or anything so this was like the only option so i know it looks a bit cramped but it's a box room it's always going to look a bit cramped um, and I think obviously once all of the stuff is out of the crib and we've got the mattress and like a nice cot sheet in there, um, it will look super nice. But yeah, I wanted to show you all the furniture going up. But I think I mentioned yesterday, like as soon as Will starts doing any sort of DIY, he just takes all his clothes off. So I thought I would spare you guys that. And um, Will doesn't really like being on camera anyway. Um, but yeah, so I picked up my Asda order. This is showing up much darker on camera than it is in person. In fact, everything in here is showing up much darker on camera than it is in person. Um, this rug, like I say, was from Asda and it's got these rainbows on it. Um, obviously, you've seen these little bits, the little chair and laundry basket and the little book basket down there. We're going to have bookshelves up here. And then I got all of the handles done at last on the, cha on the um, chest of drawers, the changing unit, because Will managed to do them for me. And um, I organised all her stuff. So I think you'd seen newborn um, and up to one month. I haven't done the socks and tights because I have a ridiculous amount. I didn't buy any of these, just saying. Um, my mum gave me these. These were all from when I was a baby. Some of these tights were from when I was a baby. And then my mum bought a bunch more. Um, I'm going to go through them and see which ones I want to keep before I get some more drawer organisers to sort them out. I think I showed you this as well. This is her like newborn and up to one month outfits. Again, I've literally got like five. That's it. I don't think she'll really be wearing them. Knitwear, hats and a few bows for cute pictures. And then I went ahead and did zero to three. Um, so I realised I don't really have much in zero to three. That's her sleep suits and that's her outfits. So I've basically got nothing. Um, so yeah, need to need to stock up on the zero to three and then anything in a larger size is in this drawer down here along with the rest of the drawer organisers. And then obviously as she grows out of her clothes, I will move them up the chest of drawers. Um, in here, there's literally like some three to six, six to nine, nine to twelve, like a real mix of stuff and I only have like one or two items in each size so um once she's here I definitely need to stock up on the bigger sizes too and then down here is like random bits and bobs that don't have a home yet because this is just an empty drawer for now um so I've got some milk storage bags um a manual breast pump the grow egg um some pram clips a spare basket and then bibs and her towel and then, like I say, we put the crib up. The crib was given to us by Will's sister um, from her last baby. It needs a good scrub down. There are a few bits that are a bit grubby because it's been in her garage. And um, there's a few bits as well where um, her baby has, like, chewed the crib. So I'm going to um, fill that in or, like, repaint it. And then everything in here will eventually have a home as well. Everything's ready to go, really when we uh, go through the next stage of organising. So I'm really happy. Um, this obviously isn't going to be staying like that. The nappy caddy is either going to be in our bedroom or downstairs. I'm going to get a little basket to put nappies and changing supplies on in this room, just in case I do use it as a changing station. And I'm going to get a small changing mat to put here. I just think that long term it won't be used as a changing station very much, but I think post C-section, in the mornings it will be because I can bring her in here change her and get her dressed without having to bend down and I think that will be great um yeah basically I'm just really pleased that everything is now in this room and ready to organize whenever we have the time to um instead of being in our bedroom because previously the furniture was like all over the upstairs of the house in boxes um all of this stuff was in our bedroom taking up so much space whereas now this coming week i can finally organize and declutter our bedroom properly and get that all finished and then this will all be waiting for me to 
sort out when I'm ready. So I'm so chuffed, so glad the furniture's finally up. I think it is going to be really cute in here when everything's up on the walls. Like, I think that's adorable.